Mirage, the man, a legend among legends. John Apex himself. Some would even say the face of Apex Legends. Anybody who knows this game knows the looks of our lovable, cocky, and incredibly self-conscious bamboozler. But did you know that at the highest level of Apex play, Mirage is not played at all. Despite other launch characters still regularly seeing action in competitive and ranked, Mirage is noticeably absent from that list. What is it about Mirage that makes him so unpopular? I wanted to find out, so I started my rank grind in Season 21 with only Mirage. To learn if Mirage is truly bad or just underrated. I decided I would spend a week of Apex committed to finding that answer. So with that, who is Mirage? Elliot Witt was born in 2703 on Solus to Richard Witt, an amateur inventor, and Evelyn Witt, a famed holographic engineer who once worked with the IMC. He joined the Apex Games in 2732. Well, now that I've read the entire wiki on Mirage, let's get to his abilities. When you pick the man himself, you are given one major tool to play within his kit, the decoy a digital fake of yourself that you send out to confuse and distract enemies. It sits on a 15 second cooldown, and any decoy deployed lasts for 60 seconds, or until another decoy is sent out. Visually, decoys have no apparent differences from a regular player, and when hit by an enemy, it pings their location as if laughing at them for their failed perception check. Now for his ultimate, it's a little bit different. Mirage goes invisible for a brief moment and reappears alongside five friends ready to beat you in an alley. Unfortunately for Mirage, these friends aren't actually able to fight, but they make great distraction tools as they mimic your own movements to confuse enemies. But you may have noticed that Mirage's abilities are just decoys. Everything's a decoy. Oops, all decoys. Unlike the rest of the Apex cast, Mirage's value comes purely out of one tool, instead of the two or three that other legends offer, and banks on that tool being effective. And how effective is a decoy? Be pretty good. Actually, fun fact! Did you know that the reason Mirage constantly says bamboozle is because in Titanfall 2, the Holopilot featured the same decoys, and anytime a player tricks somebody with a decoy, it became common to call it a bamboozle. So much so they even made a game mode for it. When Apex came around and Mirage became a playable character, they had him call his decoys a bamboozle in reference to all that. Just a fun little fact you probably didn't know. The Holopilot was also considered the worst class in TF2. Wonder why. My week of Mirage play gave me a lot of time to learn how to use these decoys effectively. You can throw it out at any time to give an enemy something to shoot at. But you can also place it on a building to catch snipers in the act. Drop a decoy or a door to look like the door is blocked. Or... <gasps> this, 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 right now. Stop, 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 stop what you're doing. Look at me right now. This right here. This is the moment. What's the moment? Why is it important? Why am I yelling? That isn't important. Focus up, buttercup. An enemy hides behind a box. You're ready to swing. In a normal situation, you have three options. Swing left, swing right, or climb on top. Hoping whichever choice you pick throws off your enemy enough to get you the kill. But Mirage is different, because Mirage can swing two different directions at once, sending his decoy off one way and swinging the enemy on the other. This is the most powerful setup a decoy can offer. And no, you may not refute it, it's law now. You should understand now how powerful Mirage decoy can be and that it merely takes a single one to completely fool an enemy. Huh. Well, I can still trick him into thinking a door is blocked. He, he, he went, he went through the door. Well, my ultimate is still really good at throwing people. Oh, come on. <sighs> Mirage's decoys have one critical flaw. They require your opponent to be fooled by them. And much like that one guy in class obsessed with card tricks, you can only do the same trick twice. Looking at you, Michael from Science. People start to catch on to your bamboozling within the first few times they interact with a Mirage. You can still find ways to fool good players, but the more exposed the player is to Mirage, the less likely it is your decoy will bring any value. And given that players have had, oh, I don't know, five years, you start to see why his decoys don't show up that often in ranked. But sometimes, Mirage can really shine.
Hey, wait a minute. What is that? Wait, wait, wait. Mirage can do more than decoys. Oh yeah. Mirage may have started with only decoys, but updates have given Mirage brand new abilities to work with as well. Starting in season five with invisibility. Whenever you are reviving an ally, using a respawn beacon, or getting knocked, you will become invisible, imperceptible to enemies around you. Though you do give them a show when you get knocked. That isn't all Mirage has been given either, as in Season 16 we were introduced to a new class system, with two new passive abilities for Mirage as he was placed into the skirmish, I mean support class. The ability to open support bins and the ability to craft ally banners. I'm sorry, did they make my special holographic little pork chop a team player? One of the biggest issues about Mirage was that even if your decoys worked, they didn't benefit your squad whatsoever, just yourself. So even when you were doing well, you still didn't benefit the team. But with his new passive abilities, Mirage went from the wannabe star to the glue guy on a playoff roster. If you understood this reference, thank you. And the upgrades to Mirage didn't end just there. But before I tell you that, please welcome to the stage our sponsor for today's video. Puzmo, your new place for thoughtful puzzles. Who didn't actually sponsor this video? But wait, wait, hold on, I have a good reason. One of my supporters on the channel here is Orda Thoreau, co-creator of Puzmo. And a while back, he offered me a free lifetime subscription to Puzmo. And since taking it, I have been using their website every morning to play a few fun puzzle games before I start the rest of my day. So when Orda reached out to see if I would be interested in getting early access to their new game, I was genuinely excited to try it out. Introducing Pile Up Poker, where you try to build as many poker hands as possible in a 4x4 grid. The more hands you make, the bigger your multiplier. Be careful as older decisions can come back to bite you. At the end of your games, your scores are added to a global pot of winnings, and new special rewards are given at each milestone achieved. Such as the milestone at 1 million that offers new Puzmo Plus subscribers a custom-designed deck of playing cards designed by Lisa Hanawalt. So whether you enjoy crosswords, chess, or Bellatro, Puzmo has you covered. So go check out Puzmo, and tell them that the bird sent you. Thank you, Orda. And while we're talking about building the best hand, let's talk about how Season 20 of Apex completed the perfect hand for Mirage to play with. The new perk system added four new perks for you to choose from as each legend. And Mirage's? Well, uh, uh it, was, it, was, it was more decoys. Oops, more decoys. <laughs> well, except for one. Allies are revived with health regen up to 75 HP. He doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Stay invisible, stay invisible. Got him, got him. The more I got to play Mirage and use his kit to the fullest, the more I found the playstyle that best fit his newer design. The Helpful Swindler. You don't do much out of your normal bamboozles, but when the going gets toughed, that's when you come in. Your decoys are used to distract the enemy, to keep their attention off of you so that you can go for a res and keep them distracted while you stay invisible to help your team recover to 75 HP. And if you can't recover even in that situation, you can use your kit to slip out of the fight and reset somewhere else. That is the value of Mirage, and makes him a genuinely solid pick in ranked. Enough that you wouldn't be considered throwing for picking him. But why isn't he picked more often then? In fact, in my entire week of playing, I only once had somebody else choose Mirage. Hey, Exorable, is it okay if I have Mirage? No. Drinks on me after this. Okay. <laughs> You'd think Mirage would be more popular given how great this strategy is. I mean, I have never had any problems doing... it... Maybe we should take a closer look at Mirage's new role. Support. It's a good place for Mirage to be in, but he's far from the only legend under that title. Take Newcastle, who is able to revive allies with a mobile shield to bring your allies into cover. And he has the same revive perk too, and that's all without his insanely useful shield and wall he can use as well. Or Conduit, who can cover your teammates' damage shields even through walls and create a huge damaging barrier to cut off enemies. Both that are arguably far more valuable than anything Mirage can do. And that's all without mentioning the one support legend everybody is playing. Lifeline. 
So Mirage's best team utility is his revive, right? Going invisible, recovering HP while invis, it's pretty good. But Lifeline can revive allies and shoot at the same time. And that whole recovering HP thing? Well, with a single perk, Lifeline can have her drone out with zero downtime, giving you a constant stream of health regen as long as you're near it. And Lifeline also gives you care packages that help your team with valuable items and... Okay, you get it. When it comes to Mirage's new role, there are plenty of other supports that can fulfill that role even better than him, with extra utility to boot. If your goal is to reach the top of the ranked ladder or hell playing competitive, Mirage isn't going to guide you down that path. If anything, he will bamboozle you with promises of greatness only measured in deception. But if you just want to play some ranked and nobody else has picked a support character, then why not? This is why I love Mirage. Is. Mirage is such a good fucking character. I didn't grind a lot in my week of playing Mirage, but I had fun grinding my way to gold. And if I had put more time into it, Mirage would have gotten me to plat or diamond just the same as any other legend. And there were plenty of times for Mirage's bamboozles to shine too. So if you enjoy a good bit of trickery, you can click Mirage with the knowledge that you have a solid role to play. And enjoy yourself as you do it. After all, we gotta take a chance to relax and enjoy it. Just like Mirage would. Just remember, a good Mirage is always setting up the next big trick. Gotcha!